when I finally gave in to my husband and his crazy idea of getting backyard chickens. And so we had a mutual friend who was moving out of the country and had this existing flock. It's great for the kids to be able to come home from school and check out the egg box and, and the nesting box and see if there's eggs and they'll come out and visit with them, sometimes throw them some, some food and um, you know, feed them some vegetables and away they go. Because my husband is very efficient, he's got things set up so that we literally don't have to feed or water them for a week. So I don't know if you can see in that, um, that pipe that comes out of the wall there, that is a kind of an automatic feeder, it self feeds. We've got a week's worth of uh, organic rations in there for them and uh, they'll just eat when they want. But we come out every few days, pick up some poop. Um, you know, you come out every, every day to collect some eggs, but really that's, I can send the kids out to do that. My kids will pick up poop. So it's pretty, um, it's way easier than a dog. <laughs> we literally got the chickens and that same day, um, he had called 311, the one side. Um, basically his, on principle, that chickens aren't allowed in the city. Um, the other neighbor um, is quite excited for us that we got them. Um, you know, it's great for her kids to come over and enjoy them as well. Um, she's happy to collect the eggs when we're out of town. Yeah. I would love to have hens as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, especially seeing their setup, they just, they have such a great setup. The chickens are so quiet, they're, um, yeah, as we said, they're not smelly. Uh, I've had the eggs, they're amazing. It's just, yeah, if you're able to produce your own food, why not? Paul, my husband Paul did go to court last week, um, pled guilty, and he will be sentenced September 10th. And sentence means a fine. He'll be fined. Well, I think it's exciting that uh, tables are turning and, and we're re-looking at this. I really am excited about that. I also feel at the same time that we've done lots of study throughout North America about what having a handful of hens in your backyard looks like and we've got lots of research there and to just go ahead and change the bylaw to just cut the pilot out and just go here we go Calgarians come and get your license for them you can have six hens you can not have a rooster and there's certain guidelines and restrictions just like there is with owning any other pet in the city there. Uh, the biggest surprise yeah. for me is that there is no smell and that they aren't that noisy. I really did believe, I had um, a fairly preconceived ideas and kind of ignorant notion as to what that was gonna look like. I'm a city girl, didn't know what things were. Um, that was my hesitation actually and why I've said to my husband prior to that, no, 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 no. But uh, that's my biggest surprise is they really aren't stinky and they really aren't noisy and they aren't really that scary. They're very uh, gentle.